So aboard the Glycon as part of the Dead Man's Tale exotic quest, there are five scannables for a triumph called Figments of an Answer. Today I will guide you to each scannable. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So these five scannables only seem to become available to scan upon you first completing this mission, then going back into it. So if you're doing this presage mission for the first time, you won't be able to scan them. So on screen now will be a run through where each scannable is from start to finish. Timestamps can be found below and I hope this guide helps you out. And on that note guys, I'm out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And hopefully guys, I'll see you on that next one. Appeared near the reef. This ship matches its description and heading. So far our hails have gone unanswered and the distress signal continues to loop. You're clear for live fire engagements. Board it and find our missing guardian. There's a distortion in the feed, no frequencies. Like ripples meeting in conversation. Executing trace. Stand by. I've sourced a distortion. There's an open patch into the ship's computer, perhaps courtesy of our lost friend. Those spores are harmonizing with the nearby concentration of darkness. There's no light here. Sarcophilus growths with cores of darkness. The material is organic. It reminds me of a certain flora kept by our silver tongued drifter. Curious. Glycon navigation system marks their destination as an anomaly left in the wake of Mars's disappearance. The Cabal here, their minds hang suspended in the death throes of cognition, falling into a singularity. Guardian, you're not the only life sign aboard. I see at least one other. Maybe a missing friend. It may not. Scorn. They did not come from Callus's menagerie. The dark ether in this device has been tampered with. Its connection to the darkness galvanized, rooted. Callus always did embody a clever sort of madness.
found a journal of Callus's scribe, Momsat. Translation as follows. Today, Callus graced the Glycon with his presence and gazed upon the anomaly. His counselors prepare the exhibition chamber with gold from the Castellum. They are confident the crown is ready. The end will lay eyes upon him and weep at his magnificence. passageways no longer connect as they should. another of Armsat's records. It reads, Tragedy of silence. He tore the wilting failures apart himself. The connection is strong, but the darkness does not speak through them. An ocean without wind. Even the light bearer could not coax it to awaken. Indicate this ship made birth from the Leviathan. Its pilot has an officer's clearance. A guardian appears to have a long and storied history with the Emperor. Concentrated dark ether. These are similar to Galron's chamber in the royal baths, but without life support systems. Micro etchings along the interior walls. Scratches.
Omsad kept notes on experiments as well. It seems that Scorn, exposed to the anomaly, all suffered contiguous neuron death. It consumed their minds. All but one who spoke with many dead voices. This survivor would become the centerpiece of their studies. this decrepit creature to rest. We've seen it and others like it. Too many scorn for an active guardian. In place of each world the darkness stole. At the edge of our heliopause. Callus meant to commune with the darkness. Address from Callus to his crew. I chose Galra, and his frailty betrayed us. He was too pure, too alone. Our new guests are neither. Faint traces of light. That thing was a guardian. 